Hello and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. Keeping you in the fast track with daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. I'm Mikey G and it's Thursday, May 26. Tesla has started to officially move to expand Gigafactory Berlin. They're going into a 250-acre lot with the submission of the construction plan to the municipality. Local paper RBB reports that the expansion has started this week. It reads in part, quote, The U.S. electrical manufacturer is planning to expand its area in the east by around 100 hectares. However, the development plan for the area must be changed for this. The U.S. electric car manufacturer Tesla has now submitted an application, as the mayor of Grunheim, Arne Christiani, confirmed. Now, the council is expected to address the issue as soon as next week. Sounds like it's going to be a formality, and the expansion will move ahead. Tesla has delivered four megapacks to a giant new Bitcoin mining facility in Texas. It's going to be the first one that's powered by the automaker's solar and battery systems. Last month, the project was announced as a partnership between Tesla, Blockstream, and Blocks, formerly Square. The idea is to build a new 30 pentashare per second open source Bitcoin mining facility powered by 3.8 megawatts of solar farm and 12 megawatt hour megapack systems provided by Tesla. The project is moving quickly as Tesla has now delivered four of their packs. The involvement is rather interesting considering Tesla withdrew a brief term of accepting Bitcoin as payment. They cited environmental concerns with its production. Tesla has pushed a new software update with an optional feature for vehicles to start applying regular brakes when regenerative brakes is limited. There are times when regenerative braking doesn't work or is greatly limited, mainly in cold temperatures and when the battery is already full. When it does happen, it takes some adjustment since the car doesn't decelerate as quickly when lifting the pedal off the accelerator. Tesla is now launching this interesting feature to address the issue. The change is currently only active for some Model 3 and Y vehicles with the latest update. Ford has officially started delivering the F-150 Lightning pickup to retail and fleet customers. Ford announced the start of production last month, and they have since made their way to dealerships across the U.S. Some were delivered to fleet customers, but now we've learned that the automaker has delivered at least one to a retail customer. According to the forum, the Michigan resident reserved a platinum trim Lightning on May 20th of 2021, and he just received it one year later. Interestingly, it was built on April 18th, before the announcement of the official production. Ford's real test will be scaling to volume production. A Volkswagen ID.4 GTX was principal in setting a new Guinness World Record for the highest altitude achieved in an all-electric passenger vehicle. The driver, Reiner Zeitlow, has been chasing a few merits and records himself. In July of 2021, he drove an ID.4 from Volkswagen headquarters in Virginia, counterclockwise through all 48 continental states, on a 97-day journey. Not long after that, in October, he achieved a Guinness World Record in the ID.4 by driving 35,770 miles continuously in one country with an EV. In his most recent journey, he has set his sights on elevation. The trek ended at the base of Cerro Uterunsu, a dormant volcano in Bolivia, and a peak elevation of 19,081 feet. In today's community comment, seems like you guys appreciated my little girl Sweet Pea, who was poking herself into the corner of the shot. For the majority of the recording, she was reading a book, but by the end, she was excited because she knew that my tagline was coming and she wanted to go along with it. I tell her sometimes when you're a grown up, cars will drive themselves. But who am I kidding? I just hope that by that time, I won't need to drive because I'll be old and the self-driving car could take me to visit her anytime I want. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.